Hey guys, in uh, this video right here, which I made just a few days ago, um, we created set driven uh, key, right? Where the car is just simply uh, spins the wheels as you drag it uh, forward or backwards, right? And that is great, except um, if you want to, if you take the car, for example, and try to uh, rotate it, you can see that the wheels are not rotating with the car. So that's one of the issues. And if you uh, ever needed to solve that issue, it's actually really easy to do. All you need to do is just select the body of the car, hold down the shift key, select the wheel, and go to animation, constraint, and you can just do a parent constraint. And in here, as long as we um, maintain the offset and change and switch the translate uh, to all, right? I don't want any of the rotations except the Y, right? Because I, I want to make sure that it still spins on X, right? And I don't really care about Z. So I'm just going to say apply and close it. Now, if I uh, try to rotate the car once again, you can see that it's actually the wheel is going to follow along, right? So same thing. Uh, for the other ones if we select the body hold on the shift key select the other one press g to repeat the command and let's just very quickly do the same thing to the other ones so this is great right so now if i select the car and if i attempt to rotate it the wheels are following along if i drag if i uh, attempt to uh, drag the car forward the said driven key will still work right now, uh, the problem arises when you try to, for example, rotate the car 90 degrees or backwards. So if I put it backwards and I try to uh, drag the car forward, you see the wheels are not going to spin um, the proper direction. Now, I don't really know how to fix this, but one of the questions that I had from um, one of the uh, users, and I'm not really sure if it's Bob or Bobby, um, but apologize if I butcher your name but I think um, if you want to do something really simple right if you just want to simply get the car um, driving on a path right we don't really like for example if I leave it as is and let's just create a path just for fun this is literally just a, a fun experimental uh, video just playing around in Maya if I go to surfaces and actually curves and let's just draw a curve, right? So I'm gonna grab my EP curve. Let's say I want my car to go from here to, and you know what? I just realized something. I think my plane is not letting me see everything. So I'm gonna hide my plane. Let me try this again. I'm gonna start like drawing. There we go. Now I can see the path. So you can see if I start drawing the path uh, to go backwards, right? To go all the way over here. And if I want to adjust any of these, you guys know how to do that, right? You just go to uh, edit point and you can just press W. You can move these around if you wanted to. Uh, also, if you wanted to make something smooth, you could just press delete. You know, you could do that. Uh, basic stuff, right? With just the curve. But let's say I want to get this uh, car driving on this curve, right? How do I do that? Uh, well, I just select the curve. I select the um, body of the car. And under animation, if I go to constraint, motion path, attach to motion path, uh, let's just see what's going on in here. Um, we can just say follow, right? Up axis is Y, that's correct. Uh, time slider, so that's gonna be this range here, a thousand frames, that's fine. And I'm not really sure I need to inverse any of these, we can just see what happens. If I say apply, uh, you can see the car snaps to the curve, right? And if I press play, you can see what's happening with the wheels. They're beginning to spin properly. And then as soon as the car starts to turn, they kind of go backwards. And honestly, I don't really know how to fix this. If anyone out there knows how to fix this using uh, constraints, I would love to know that. Um, I, I don't. I know that I looked, I looked this up on YouTube and other people were writing custom code to get this working. Um, or like rigging it with um, joints and stuff instead of in controllers instead of just using constraints. 
But anyways, um, just for the sake of this experiment, let's say I want this car to not do that. I want the wheels spinning properly and let's say that this car is going to travel at a constant speed. So it's not going to change speed. So the wheels will always spin at the same speed. So I could go to Windows Animation, go to Graph Editor, and currently um, if I look at the path, right, this is the path, gra uh, the graph for my path, and for me to make sure the car travels at the same speed, I just need to make change this to a linear curve, right, so it's constant. So now if I press play, the car is not going to slow down and speed up like easing in and easing out, it's just going to um, drive at the same speed and the reason you want to do that is because now what you could do is you could change the wheels to not be driven by said driven key but instead just manually rotating so how do we do that so uh, in again the last video we implemented the said driven key so if I click on each one you can see it has a uh, animation right so what I could do is I could select each wheel, select the um, animation for the wheels, right? That's being driven by said driven key. And I could just press delete. So I could go ahead and delete my animation for every single one of these, right? So now uh, obviously there's no said driven key. And if I press play, you can see that the car is moving and the wheels are not rotating, right? But the cool thing is that we can manually set them into rotation, right? So if I create an animation, let me select all four of them. And I can go to rotation and let me change this to object, right? And let's go to frame uh, zero and four. If you rotate these, you can see that the rotation is changing on X, right? which means if I set this to zero, for example, and press enter, I can right click and say key selected, right? So I'm only animating rotation on X. And now what I could do is I can move forward to, I don't know, like let's go to frame 20. And uh, here let's rotate them just a little more. Maybe we'll do 90 degrees, right? 90 degrees, press enter and uh, my auto keyframe toggle is uh, turned on so automatically I have a key set for uh, rotation X right so now what happens is now the wheels are manually rotating and then they stop right and let's say I um, actually would probably make a lot more sense honestly let's go ahead by the way this little uh, thing is is how you jump between keyframes just so you guys know you click on this little thing and it goes to the next keyframe uh, just in case someone's new uh, you know what? It would make more sense if we switch this to uh, 360. I think that that's the full rotation, right? Let's do that. And what we could do is I'm going to click on this uh, frame once, press shift, click, and then I'm just going to drag it over to, let's go to like frame 100. It makes a lot more sense. And now uh, frame 100 does not make sense. Let's move this to like 50. Yeah, this makes a little more sense. All right, so you just have to time it. But let's say zero is, uh, so on frame zero, uh, rotation X equals zero. And on frame, what frame are we on? 56, it's 360. So I know this is a full circle, right? So now what I need to do is I just need to make sure that this is ongoing throughout the entire curve animation. All right, so now if I select my wheel, you can see the animation for, for that wheel. If I hold on the shift key, I can select all four of them, right? And this is the animation. So I'm gonna select this. Once again, I do want it to be linear. So it's constant. And let's click on uh, post and, or this is post and this is pre, right? So it's, essentially it's looping. Now, if I press play, and watch my uh, car, you can see the wheels are gonna be rotating the proper direction the entire time because we are manually forcing the keyframe animation, right? And this is how I would do it, right? If, it's, if I'm creating something uh, simple, and of course you can control the speed. So this would be an alternative to setting the car in motion and kind of manually directing both the path 
and the animation. And then, you know, if you're making a short film or something, once it's done and it gets to this point, then technically you could switch to set driven keys and do the rest of the animations uh, that way. Just, uh, again, just a little uh, experiment here in my. I hope uh, this was uh, useful. Thanks for uh, watching it and I'll see you in the next one.